All right. I think we're ready to go. I'm just uh, gonna go to the store and get some pop. But I thought uh, I might as well take this out. I just uh, registered it and uh, got some plates. So we're all happening there. And let's see what, see what happens. out a couple of times just down the uh, my my road here the dead end road and uh, I see what buddy wasn't exaggerating about the bushings and uh, also the front shocks are just completely wiped thanks for a smooth ride but it's it's pretty uh, pretty bouncy Maybe changing my mind a little bit on how I will uh, deal with that front end. I know of a good garage in Langford, and uh, if it needs all that stuff, like all the bushings and the tie rod ends and uh, shocks and all that, it would be way better to at least get it up on a hoist and see it for ourselves. From a good vantage, I have had a look underneath. And, but anyway, if it's a reasonable job for them, I'll probably get them to do it all just to save me the time. Because it'll take me quite a little bit longer than someone who's done it a million times. But if it's unreasonable, I'll get the parts and we'll do it. But I really want to see it from underneath and make sure I'm capturing all the stuff that it actually needs. Track's pretty straight. No problems registering it. Oddly, the insurance on this thing is uh, more than the 66. I don't know if that just indicates their computer considers this, you know, whatever, I don't know. More, you know, more expensive to replace or whatever, I can't believe it, but. It's all kind of factors, I guess, that go into the that assessment, but. Kara and I already checked that the signal lights and the brakes and all that lights work. I've got five fucking sets of keys in my pocket, so it took like it takes forever to uh, find the ones I want. It's not bad to drive. I think uh, next week I'll probably drive it in a day or two. See what happens. I should probably bring the camera with me though, because if the front end rips right the fuck off, then we got a movie. Superfan uh, Glenn says uh, he really got enjoyment out of the Mercury one where the transmission failed to engage there. Added some spice, you know. I'm not going to fake breakdowns for this. <laughs> for the sake of excitement, but uh, 
If I drive this car enough, I probably won't have to, eh? Plus, there's no <laughs> there's no need in the world to to fake breakdowns, you know. That's just ridiculous. But I'm pretty I'm pretty pretty impressed. I mean, uh, definitely maybe I'll drive it in once or twice, or on the second day that I bring it in, maybe I'll uh, drop it off at the shop there with them and. Uh, leave it with them for a while. And we'll see. I would like it to be in reasonable shape, you know, like as far as this, the safety shit is all I care about. The rust on the back, fuck it. I don't care. But I do care about brakes and the fact that it can steer and the wheels stay on. Those are all pretty important. hit the 66 with this thing before it was all fogged up and that would be fucking bad all right well that was uh, a completely unexciting video I realize it may or may not go up for that reason but uh, thanks for watching if it does go up and uh, when I have something uh, interesting going on or when I'm doing something under the hood there I'll film it and let you know let you see all right I haven't done a proper walk around yet I guess and uh, I've been kind of waiting till I find all the small things so I can point them out and show you I like the fact that it totally rains inside um, yeah anyway thanks for watching <laughs>